What's going on guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Welcome to another episode of The Body Beatdown. I'm Michael, your most incrediblest host. Well, today is chest day, and if you've been following my videos, you know that I'm doing a little series that I kind of, I guess maybe didn't made myself, I don't know. Taking one body part per day, which is what I do anyway, taking one movement, and doing that body part for three weeks. Mike, what does that mean? Please discuss. Well, if you're doing four, five, six, ten different things for your chest, how do you know what that exercise is doing? So my little uh, routine that I'm doing, I'm on week number three. Today's my chest day, so I'm doing chest press, flat uh, Smith machine presses. That's my one movement of choice for this six week little test I'm doing. And I'm on week three. Yesterday was legs, today's chest. Legs was my hack press, my hack, my little compact Titan uh, hack press. And uh, today's chest. So just a little weird test thing that I come up with that I'm doing just because, you know. And not only that, uh, just to kind of see what this kind of does and how it feels and what I feel like after six weeks, but also, it kind of gives me a break from doing all the different other movements. And some movements maybe tax my body a little bit more than others. And since I work out six days a week and I do cardio seven days a week, I'm constantly going and beating my body down. Hence the name, Body Beat Down. This kind of gives me a little bit of break doing this routine of just the same movements, uh, the same you know, movements for a six week period and kind of keeps me from doing certain other things and kind of give me a break. So uh, we're starting out with 45s on each side. Now again, I'm not gonna break any records. I'm not strong anymore. I'm, I'm not in that game anymore uh, since coming back into working out. And uh, it's just me working out with normal weights that I can move and doing the best I can. And you're not gonna be impressed with anything I do, believe me. Uh, there's a lot better out there. But one thing I do do is I am consistent and persistent. I go all day, every day. I don't miss. I work out, I walk, and I spin on the bike. I used to cycle every day, but I've switched over to spinning. <clears throat> it's seven days a week I'm going. So if anything, maybe I'm inspiring other people out there to keep going. <clears throat> and uh, to do their best. So let's go ahead and throw out a few reps of this and uh, we'll see where we go, all right? I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't have, what are you doing, tripod? Tripod, uh, I don't have any real ideas of what I'm doing as far as, you know, my routine is, you know, heavy light in between, heavy reps, low reps. I'm just going, we're just gonna go with it, see how we feel. Let's tilt this down a hair. Just a hair, guys. Just a hair. Let's lift. Now, one more thing. I'm so sorry to bore you, but I don't know what this carriage weighs. I don't know what that bar weighs. I don't know what the friction weighs. <clears throat> so whenever I say I'm benching something on this, it's... I'm usually just talking about the plates that I put on. <clears throat> so that means I'm only doing 90 pounds right now. Now this carriage and bar and all that, gravity, friction, it could add another 100 pounds for all I know, okay? But I don't add it because I don't know. So I'd rather be more kind of truthful to myself and to know what I'm doing and kind of keep it uh, on this side of the fence, on this side of the line, rather than to give myself a little bit too much. I don't know if that makes sense. But let's go ahead and move some weight. <clears throat> do I, do I, do, do, do. Oh, I'm not sure I got my bench in the right spot, but we'll see. First set, let's get her done. Thank you. 
All right, we got 15 right there. So even though I enjoy doing some movements on my Smith machine, I do have a complaint and it could be just this Smith machine. Uh, this is really the one I, only one I've ever really used, to be honest. Uh, I did try one at a gym that I went to for a few months, and uh, but I was only doing legs on there, and I couldn't even reach back to get the bar because my shoulders are so bad. So, one thing I don't like about this Smith machine is it's hard to latch those latch uh, those latches back whenever you're benching. Uh, you know, because I'm grabbing down here. And whenever I left off, boom, it's rolling the, you know, it's rolling them back where I can unlatch. But then trying to get them latched back on, I'm having to really manipulate. So that's one reason why eventually I'm looking to get a new Smith machine that also has the standard free weight uh, options included with it. So I can do some more free weight benching and uh, kind of see where I'm at there. So, I'm going to load some more plates up and uh, we'll keep going, guys. All right. So, I threw some uh, five, uh, some 25s on there on each side. I went ahead and did one more set with, the, with just the 45s just to get me another good warm-up. So, uh, oh. so, of course, with just the plate weights, it's 140. So... Uh, we'll go ahead and get a few reps of this done and uh, we'll keep going. So, yeah, today I'm a little off balance, off schedule. I'm a little discombobulated. It's been stormy, rainy all day. We've had flooding and there was a chance of tornadoes earlier today and all kind of stuff. So I haven't got my walk in today. And uh, I'm hoping that by this evening it's gonna cool down you know calm down a little bit and i can go out and at least get a night walk so hopefully that'll happen i want to get my walk in i do have a treadmill but it's junk and as soon as i start using it it likes to cut off and if i keep kind of muscling through it and make it kind of keep moving it'll kind of kick back on and what have you so i don't know i need to get a new treadmill i got it free off marketplace so anyway let's get a few reps of this all right Stick with it, guys. Let's get it going. Let's do it. Ten. We got ten. Ten of those bad boys. Alright, I'll probably put some more weight on and we'll go from there, guys. Stick around. It's only going to get better. Let's face it. Stick around. Alright, guys. Got some more plates on the bar. We're going to do 160 now. And uh, I was just thinking, you know, as we do whenever we age and things change and maybe you just change up your routine and all that in general you know I can't help but think back of the lifts that I used to do and uh, whenever I was in my more of my prime <clears throat> I see my buddy uh, working out all the time he's a little bit older than I am uh, Mac Bean Scottish Fitness go check out his channel if you would Mac M-A-C Bean Mac Bean Scottish Fitness he's a cool guy He's a little bit older than me, but he's still lifting some pretty impressive weights on his bench. I don't know about much anything else, but his bench, you know, is what he mostly showcases. You know, and, and that that's how a lot of us guys look at other guys in the gym. We base it off their bench press or how big are your arms or, you know, what can you curl or, you know, and, you know, also to a lesser extent, a lot of times, what can you squat and what can you deadlift? Of course, there's a million other lifts 
that matter. But, uh, you know, I do have a video uh, on this channel. I think it's maybe before and after or, or, you know, then versus now or something like that. I don't remember what it was. But uh, it kind of shows some lifts that I did when I was more in my prime. You know, and I look at this and I see how I struggle with it. And, and I look at and I think back at what I used to do. You know, I was doing 300 pounds flat bench for 10 to 12 reps. I was doing 225 pound flat bench, uh, 20 reps. I was maxing out at 375, anywhere between 375 and 380. I don't remember. I got like 370 or 75 on video, but I think I went up at one point, maybe to 380. But it only counts if you get it on video. So we'll say 370, 375 on flat bench. Uh, sitting barbell shoulder presses, I've done my max was like 240 or 245 on that. Um, I've done like 255 pound flat benches for like sets of maybe 10 or something like that. I've done, uh, you know, pretty good significant lifts for someone who worked out at home by themselves all the time. I worked out all the time by myself. Now my biggest downfall is I wasn't as consistent and persistent and dedicated as I am now at my older age. And also, my diet sucked. I mean, I ate whatever I wanted, as much as I wanted, whenever I wanted. And, you know, I, I had a lot of meat on the old bones. I had a lot of muscle under there, but I was always packing some extra fat on there that, you know, I didn't want. I didn't want it, but you don't know how to control your diet. Now my diet's pretty controlled and I'm losing a lot of what I want to lose really but I don't I, I, I'm, I don't have the diet and all that really to go heavy because well number one I'm not really wanting to go heavy you just think back you know I'm not really wanting to go heavy so it don't really matter but you kind of think back but my diet and the kind of the way I'm doing things nowadays really don't support that type of stuff but I do some movements I do pretty decent pretty within reason of my max you know of my prime so I'm still doing pretty good I feel good about it I'm 50 years old I've dropped a lot of weight I'm healthier definitely healthier it don't matter what you can lift uh, your health is what matters I'm definitely a lot more healthy now uh, even than I was probably 20 years ago seriously so Anyway, enough blabbering. I just kind of wanted to talk to you, you know, just kind of connect a little bit. And, you know, I know we guys that are used to lifting big and all that kind of stuff, you know, and then you kind of start lifting lesser. It kind of, you know, plays with you a little bit sometimes. But, and uh, I do believe that I could lift a little easier if I was doing this free weight instead of Smith because I am restricted by the machine. So I will put that on there that I do think I could do a little better free weight. And that's one reason I want to get an option where I can do the free weight. So not that I care to be as big and strong as I was before, of course, but just to see where I'm at. All right, enough talking and I apologize for blabbering, but hey, you know, let's do that. We talk, we connect. Let's check out some benching, guys. My squats and my deadlifts were never good though. So because of my back, a lot of it, I just have a bad back. Oh. I realize I only got eight reps on that, and I'm okay with that. So uh, we'll throw a little bit more weight on there and go from there, guys. All right, stick around. We're still moving on, man. We're still climbing the ladder. All right. 
All right, we got, as far as the plates go, we have 180 on the bar. So, and you'll notice uh, I did go ahead and wrap up my arms, my wrist, and my and put my gloves on. I have arthritis in my wrist and it really hurts no matter if I do a death grip or a, a suicide grip or any kind of grip, it just, it's annoying. And uh, it kind of makes my wrist a little bit rigid, a little bit more held in place, kind of like if you're using a uh, elbow sleeve or knee sleeves or something like that. Kind of just helps to, you know, give you a little bit of support there. So I got these going on. So got 180 on the bar. Let's go ahead and do that. All right. I may go up to five, 600 pounds. I don't know. Probably not though. Stick around guys. All right, so I just stuck a 10 on each side. Now I know you're thinking, Mike, man, that's weak. Well, it gets me up to 200 even, not including the barn and the carriage and all that mess we talked about. So it's just right, it's 200 pounds we'll say. So I'm gonna hit that and then I'll go from there. I think last time I went up to 250 and got a, a rep. I think I might've done a couple sets, two or three different sets where I only got one rep and that's okay. That's, you know, it's still taxing your muscles and I may do that again today. Just depends on how I feel. So let's go ahead and uh, see what we can do here with 200, all right? You gotta do what you gotta do to get that weight up there. I did four. And you'll notice I put my feet up on my bench and that's because this bench is a little bit too tall. Now in my shoes, I'm 6'2". Barefoot, I'm 6'1 and a half. And this bench is too tall for me. So eventually I would like to get a new bench as well. I'd like to get a nice low bench. I know the standard is roughly 17-ish inches or <laughs> 17-ish inches or so. So, uh, yeah, eventually I'm gonna give me a different bench, but for now, you know, you gotta work around stuff, so. All right, let me get this wrote down and get some more weight on there and see how I go, okay? Hang around. Okay, I put 25s on each end. Now, I do have the 10s still on there. They're in between, in between there. I don't care how my weights are stacked, as long as they're stacked. So my goal is to get at least one rep of this and it would be nice if I could again, maybe do two, three, uh, four sets, at least getting one rep, just to kind of get my muscles used to pushing that kind of weight. So whew, let's go ahead and do it guys.
Did you see that? I failed. Boy, I'm glad I was able to get that hooked. And I'm leaving this in the video so you can see that everybody fails sometimes. Dang, that sucks. Okay, well that was just uh, pretty humbling guys. So anyway, I had to take off the 25s and the 10s just so I could lay under that and get it pushed back up. So I went ahead and put the 10s back on which takes it back up minus the bar and the carriage and all that to 200 pounds just with the plates. So I'm gonna try and get out maybe two, three sets with this, super low rep of course. <laughs> and uh, just to get a nice pump in, and we'll go from there, guys. Um, I'll let you see this, and I don't know how much more I'll record, because at this point we're gonna do this, and then we'll just kinda work our way down a little bit, and so uh, we'll, we'll see what we do, okay? So let's go ahead and do this. So a measly three reps on that. Uh, I have a theory. Let me get back with you. Okay, as you all know, this is kind of my little scientific experiment, uh, this routine that I'm doing, that we talked about doing. Now, this probably isn't a factor, but what if this is week number three that I haven't done other movements? One of the movements that I do for my chest every chest day uh, before this little routine here is my dumbbell presses, flat incline. Those are 100 pound dumbbells. 100 pound dumbbells are heavy. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care how big you are. 100 pound dumbbells are heavy, especially where I'm at right now in my life. 100 pound dumbbells take a lot of effort to move around, a lot. Not just up and down, but to get them from the floor to sitting down on my legs, to kicking them up and working out. So I'm wondering, okay, this is week number three, pretty much probably four weeks since I've done the dumbbells because you know, I do them on Tuesday. So you can figure it out, you're good with math. Maybe, sorry, I was just looking to see who that was. Maybe I'm getting weaker. Maybe those 100 pound dumbbells are giving me that extra strength and uh, power and all that to get through uh, my workout a little better. And maybe last week I was still fresher in my second week from moving those dumbbells. But now I'm three weeks moved from moving those dumbbells. You get what I'm saying? A hypothesis, a hypothesis, a theory, an unscientific scientific experiment here. I don't know. 
I'm gonna go ahead and do, I went ahead and wrote down, I think two or three more sets with this and those were rough enough, but I'm gonna try and at least bust out one to three reps as much as I can. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I won't bore you with filming that, but we'll get back to you, all right guys? Hope you enjoy so far. Don't be embarrassed if you fail, all right? We'll see you in a bit. All right guys, I went ahead and pushed out, uh, I did three sets of uh, the 200 right there at the end there. So I uh, got four reps, four, three reps, and maybe two reps. I don't remember what I did. I'll, uh, I'll make sure to put my uh, workout log uh, probably right here if you want. Yeah, can you see it? Yep, it's over my face, and uh, you're looking at it right now. That's what she said. And there you go. So at this moment, uh, I'm looking into the future since I don't have it wrote down on my sheet yet. I'm gonna go ahead and start going down and weight and uh, getting back up into the higher rep range, you know, uh, to finish out my workout and give my chest a good workout. So I'm a little uh, discouraged about not getting the 250. That was, that was a little surprise for me. A little kick in the tail, if you will. But things happen, guys. You know, things happen. So, uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the little workout. I hope you struggled along with me a little bit. I hope you worked out, did something alongside of me. Uh, that's, what's, uh, that's what's good about these kind of videos when they're long-winded. You can kind of do your stuff, too. So, it gives us all something to do. Whew. I'm going to continue on. All right, guys. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. To the Body Beatdown. With me, Michael, your incredible host that uh, used to be strong. <sighs> anyway, we were all one strong, weren't we, guys? All right, I'm out of here. Have a good night. Thanks for joining in. Remember, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. What do you got to lose? I don't know. I'm going to get done with this. I'm going to go eat my wonderful food. I'm going to maybe hopefully make it out for a walk if the rain has decided to stop. Come in, chill out, drink my cup of French vanilla coffee, and enjoy my night. Enjoy your night. Be an inspiration to someone today, tomorrow, the next week, the next year, including yourself. All right? Get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it. We'll see you later. Have a good night. Get up, get out, get mad, and do it, do it!